Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Last time we did Tostarina's story, which is quite surprising. <laughs> I'm going to cash in those moons, and then we're going to go around and grab a bunch of the minor moons in Tostarina, which are now available. Once you complete the story, a bunch of the ice melts, and a whole bunch of other stuff around Tostarina becomes accessible. So we're going to be trying to grab some of those now. Also, there are new products in the shop, but we won't be getting those, because that's not super important. Uh, the moon rock over there is now activated. We won't be opening it in this video. We'll be doing that next time. Uh, so, let's talk to this guy. I forget if he gives you a moon here. Okay, so I don't get a moon until we go to Metro and talk to them again. Uh, we'll have to come back here later on. Uh, now that the ice is melted, we can get into this fountain and grab some of the purple coins. These were previously inaccessible. We can also throw a Cappy on top of the fountain. Cappy! And she will unlock this moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Hang your hat on the fountain, it's called. Uh, let me see, what else? Oh yeah, we can also hit this radio here. To unlock the Japanese version of Break Free Lead the Way. <laughs> this is a really random detail, I don't know why it's like that. But as you can hear, it's it's in Japanese. So that's how you unlock that. I don't know. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. I think you can get the um, Japanese version of Jump Up Superstar in the same way. But I figured exactly where. Uh, there'll be a hint art we can get over here now. Huh, maybe the Intart's inside the moon rock. It's supposed to be on this wall, but I'm still not seeing it. Hmm, interesting. Uh, that rocket up there on top of the top of the building is a sub-area we can now reach, but it's quite a hard one, so I might save that for a little bit later. Uh, at the moment, let's head this way. Uh, there are regular Goombas here now instead of tiny ones. I guess they couldn't grow up big and strong because of the cold or something. I don't know. And Goombet is over there as well. So we're going to grab a Goomba and make our way over to Goombet. I think we just need the one. So yeah, it's got a little, a little bit of a platforming challenge here because Goombas can't jump quite as well as Mario. But it's not that big a trip, so it's pretty easy. I think you can just pop this. No, nah. um, I'll wait for the bullet to hit it. That way it'll work. There we go. So yeah, you just gotta take him over. Take your Goomba over to Goombat here. She'll give you a Brow Moon. There we go. Yeah! That's two moons for today. Uh, that one up there we can get. Uh, the easiest way is to go up to the top of the inverted pyramid. So we'll be doing that shortly. Uh, first, I wanna... Oops bonk against the wall, because I love to bonk against walls. Uh, the moon inside the cage is now there, so we can get that one. Uh, to do that, you have to grab a bullet bill from over here. Because this is the only one at the right height. Uh, bullet bills can't move like horizontally, so you have to get one that's at the right height to start with. Oh, I think that other one might have been at the right height too, actually. It's a bit higher up, but not that much higher up. Anyway, yeah, we've got the moon from here. Um, I think that's everything in this area for the time being. We already went down there and got the moons. Um, we already got the sheep moon. Uh, you can still reach the inverted pyramid, even though it's really high up now, by using that slingshot over there. If you throw Cappy at it, it pulls Mario in and you both get launched up really high to reach that door. Uh, we don't actually need to go there right now, so we'll go there shortly. Uh, over here, there's a couple more purple coins we can get. Uh, so we're going to do that. I think we should be able to get all the purple coins. Um, since we can access the 2D areas after all. And we've gotten the coins out of them. So I think we should be able to get every purple coin without too much hassle. Which is quite exciting. There will be another moon in this area, where the moving stuff is, once the moon rocks open, but it's not there yet, so we can't get it yet. Uh, let's 
see. We've done the Goon Batman. Um, we might be able, now that we've changed stuff around, to look at something in the sky. I'm not sure if that's all you have to do. I know there's there's something you can look at to get a moon here, but I don't think it's there yet. It might only be inside the moon rock. Uh, yeah, I can't see it. So I'm guessing that's still not unlocked. Uh, we can go over here and make it a little easier to get around. Uh, like, logically, you would have made a warp over there in most cases, so it wouldn't be hard to get over there anyway, but there's also this bridge we can now activate by throwing Cappy at that lever. It's still weird that Mario can't pull these levers himself. He just, like, he's got hands, but they don't work. But Cappy, who is a hat and does not have hands, can't do it. <laughs> can do it. It's, it's weird. Um, okay, so over here, there's a P-switch over there, which is now unlocked. Uh, if you hit that P-switch, it will reveal a times challenge. Uh, as you can see, it just reveals that there's a key out there in the middle of the poison. Uh, you are supposed to go grab one of the, um, Moais, so you can see where the invisible platforms are, but you can actually just do it like this. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, doing it with a mobile I would have made it so I didn't wasn't crouching as well, so to preserve the challenge of the crouch, I just did it a bit differently. Uh let me see here. Uh, I think we're about done here for now. There, there is a moon here later on, but I don't think it's here just yet. Uh, let's head over towards I believe we can do the first Cooper free running segment, so we'll do that. Uh, basically, you have to cross the whole desert in this free-running segment, which is pretty cool. Uh, it starts over here, at the building that contains the Bullet Bill Maze, the one you can cheese really easily and just jump on top of. Uh, ow! <laughs> I got cactus Uh, yeah, the Koopa should be just over here. Oh! That's interesting. Free-running is supposed to be here. Maybe it only opens up at all once you hit the moon rock. The, the Koopa you talk to to start it is usually standing right here, but they're not here yet. Weird. Uh, I'm surprised. Uh, there's another quest that you do over in this corner, but they're not there yet either. On top of the building, there's something else we can do. So we're just gonna climb our way up there. Uh, I think just doing a backflip from here. Uh, that's a bit too far. Maybe do it from over here. Also, I might need to do a long jump, actually. I'm sure if a backflip will give us enough distance. There we go. So yeah, here's another timer challenge. Uh, this is the kind that you don't get cappy for, so it's a bit harder. Uh, there's the moon up there. Basically, you're supposed to roll, so the fact that we can basically only roll is sort of helpful, but sort of not. You'll see what I mean in a sec. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna do that a lot faster. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to need to speed up quite a bit to be able to do this quick enough. Uh, again, because we don't have Cappy when we're doing the challenge, we can't get her help to avoid bonking against walls and things like that, which makes this much more difficult than it otherwise would be. Ah! Oh, I just missed that. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I think it'd be a bit closer to start with, so let's get Cappy back. It's really hard to control yourself when you don't have Cappy, god. Okay, uh, walk over, probably about here? Yeah. So Mario's just about to bonk into that wall because I'm rolling. Or he's gonna go over here for no reason. Yeah, I can't get out of the roll, so I can't avoid bonking on that wall, which makes this harder than it otherwise would be. No, Mario, go under. Under the wall. Okay, yeah, you can't start rolling until you've actually crawled underneath. You've got to be careful with that. It's a sneaky fact. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I reckon from about here? 
That's probably too far. Oop, accidentally ground pounded. That might slow me down a bit. Uh, I'm still taking too long. It's just, without Cappy, it's very hard to control yourself to move precisely and quickly the way you want to move. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna bonk. Like I said, I'm just gonna bonk. Uh... Okay, I can climb up there in one jump, which is much faster, so let's try to always do that. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> so yeah, as you might expect, that's a lot easier under normal circumstances, because when you're rolling along, you can stop, rather than just rolling and bonking into the wall and wasting time. Uh, we're going to just zap our way up on top of the pyramid here. I guess this is just to help you if you didn't hit the checkpoint up here, because... Actually, yeah, I haven't hit the checkpoint. There isn't actually a checkpoint up here, is there? I was, mis I was remembering there being one, but I think it's just that there's all these power lines to get up here so easily that it feels like there's a checkpoint. But there isn't one. Um, okay, let me see. I've got the purples. Not purple. They are purple. I'm playing this game again. I'm not playing um, Crafted World, so the coins I want to get are purple coins. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, we need to call the Jaxi up here. And jump on and carefully steer our way over to this pillar here, because there's a Jaxi statue on every other one of these. So when we stand here, the Jaxi will reward us for the Power Moon, for some reason. <laughs> Thanks, Jaxi. Uh, anyway, uh, the next moon we want to get is that one down there. So... Oh, wait, actually. If we can... I tried to get this earlier. Um. Like on a previous, previous, like before I started the challenge, I tried to do this one for practice. It's really hard. Um, so basically, oops, what you gotta do is just hit this thing with Cappy in order to stun it, and then you have to ground pound it, like within a few seconds. So you have to be really quick. And if you get too close, it just goes away like that and becomes invulnerable while it's moving away. Um,. I'm sure this is doable, but it's it's hard. There we go. Okay. So you haven't got much time to react before it unstuns again. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I I'm sure this moon is doable. It's just hard. Uh, there's a few more of these in the game. There's one on, um, in Honey Loon Ridge, I think, and maybe some more. I forget how many of these there are, actually. There's definitely one in Honey Loon Ridge, though. So, we will be having to do it there, too. And there it's a bit harder because of the gravity problems that you have there. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, you just, you got, just got to hit it with Cappy, and then... You can't ground pound out of a long jump, so if you long jump over it, you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <sighs> so yeah, w when you manage to ground pound it, a moon will come out, but... If we can manage to ground pound it, of course, which is proving difficult. <laughs> I believe it's impossible to do this without throwing Cappy, because if you get close without stunning it, it just runs away. Okay, yeah, I can't crawl over there. I do need to roll. So I probably need to do, do a long jump, throw Cappy, then ground pound. That is doable. Um, as you can see, it's just hard. So yeah, this thing's not very tall either, so a lot of my cap throws are going to just go over it. Uh, in addition, it turns, changes direction very quickly, and while I'm rolling, I can't really do that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I tried out this one, like, on one of my other files to sort of practice for the run. And yeah, it's really, really tricky. I didn't actually manage to do it on there, but, you know, I think it's doable. I think it's doable. I 
I wonder if Cappy homes in on it. That would really help, actually. If she does. She might not. No, she does. Okay. Ah, too slow. <laughs> okay, I'm accidentally hitting pause, god. Yes! It's doable. <laughs> okay, once the moon's out, you just gotta go over there and grab it. Da 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 da! Yeah! Okay, uh, so that's everything up here. Uh, there is another Jaxi moon that we get by riding the Jaxi to a certain spot. We'll be doing that one in a moment, but first we're gonna just be jumping off of the pyramid and breaking our legs when we fall down to that moon down there. Uh, I believe probably the best way to do this is with like a backflip. And then a cap throw like that. You have a decent, like, a really good amount of air control when you're falling very far. So you can land in particular places without too much trouble, which is good. Uh, oh, this painting is active now. We we're doing this straight away. Uh, this painting is one of the secret paths that goes to the Metro Kingdom. In a normal playthrough, it's a bit of a sneak peek of the Metro Kingdom, because they can do this as soon as you've done Tostarina's story, which is, you know, four, four, five kingdoms? Hang on. One, two, three, four, four kingdoms before you actually get there. Uh, so you hit the checkpoint here, you get the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Secret path to New Donk City. Uh, you can, under normal circumstances, get on top of this platform, and you're supposed to be able to, so I might just give it a try and see if I can get up there with the moves we have at our disposal. Uh. Yep, it's doable. And there's just a bunch of invisible coins up here just to reward you for doing a slightly tricky jump. Uh, you can just warp over there and go to the rest of Metro Kingdom if you want, but we're going to go back to Tostarina for now. Uh, you can see the Odyssey somehow got here without us, so... The Odyssey just follows you around to each kingdom, if you've already been there. Like, if you haven't been there yet, you can't go to Tost go to St. Nidong City and then just warp to the Odyssey using the menu, because that would be kind of cheating, I guess. That would allow you to skip a lot of the game. <laughs> There are a lot of paintings that let you skip ahead to later kingdoms like that, but you can't use that for anything too useful because of the way it works. Uh, let me see. So there is, as I mentioned, another Jaxi moon around here somewhere. Uh, that bird, I think, is a different bird. It's like the, the swamp bird. Uh, basically the one way you're supposed to do that one, yeah, it is a different bird, is to get the Jaxi and just run across the swamp to hit it. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, probably the closest place to get a Jaxi is over here. And yeah, when you're on a Jaxi, like any other capture or vehicle in the game, crashing doesn't do anything because it's the get off the vehicle button. So we can just make our way over there without too much trouble. Uh, there's, a, there's actually another timer challenge over here too. Um, oops. Quite do that right. <laughs> yeah, you do it like that, and that's how you get that one. Yeah. So the timer challenge is just over here. Uh, I believe the way you're intended to do this with the Jaxi, it gives you some platforms so you can cross the poison as Mario, but you can also just do it with the Jaxi, and I think you're supposed to, since you know it's the Jaxi poison pond and all that. You could probably jump over there as Mario, but this way is just as easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so we've got the 10 moons here. We also got the Metro Kingdom one, which is why it's showing 11. Uh, there's another Jaxi one that I was mentioning earlier. If you come up, I think it's... Uh, it's not actually in the Oasis, but since we're here, we may as well do some stuff here. Uh, there's some purple coins in the water. The Oasis isn't frozen anymore, so you can dive down and grab these purples. Uh, additionally, if you look around the side of the oasis, there's a friendly Lakitu here going for a, fri a friendly fish, and you can take over and do the fishing. Uh, you want to look for the biggest fish, basically, which I think is that one. 
And then you just gotta sort of wait around. You get a little rumble in the controller. They're using the HD rumble gimmick again. Oops. And then you accidentally uncapture. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let me see. Okay, that one. Okay, you just hit wide or lower the line. Sometimes the fishy shadow disappears when you do that. It's weird. I don't know why they do that. It's strange. Uh, if you catch the small ones, they're just like coins, but the big one will give you a moon. Oops. Um, I'll leave that for now. If you come over here to the desert area of the oasis where all these cacti and stuff are, there's actually some more fish to catch over here for mysterious reasons. It's not really clear why it's like that or why this works at all, given that sand is not water, but you can do this. Ah, I keep uncapturing by accident. God. <laughs> Yeah, you need to not uncapture during this or it won't work. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's my rubber band. I think I'm just accidentally hitting the other button when I go to shake the controller. Um, let's try this one more time. Hello, fishy. There we go. So yeah, that fish is not a fish. That's Captain Toad. And that's how you get the Captain Toad moon for this kingdom, because... Captain Toad. <laughs> You're quite a catch, Captain Toad. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, actually doing the fishing will get you another moon, so we're going to go do that now. As you can see, Lakitu moves very slowly, and he's usually stuck in a small area like this, so you can't do much. Uh, there is one area with the Lakitu that you can use to actually get places. Uh, we'll be seeing that way later in the run, though. It's much later. There we go. So, yeah, you catch the big cheap sheep, it gives you a moon. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! Uh, and I think that's all the Oasis has to offer, actually. It's not uh, not a super exciting part of the game. Uh, anyway, we'll get back on the Jaxi. Uh, and we'll bounce our way out. There we go. There it is. Okay, so this thing was frozen over before. So you couldn't actually put the Jaxi on it in order to get this moon. Basically, you just have the Jaxi. Meet some fam. Oh, so cute. Yeah, Jaxi reunion. And you can just hop back on that Jaxi once you've done that. Okay, uh, let me think. What's left to do? Let's take a look at the menu and see what, see what else there is. Uh, da, 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 da. Making good progress. Done a whole bunch of stuff. There are some more things to do, obviously. Uh, skull sign that has no maze, sandy floor. Let's go have a look at that rocket section. I'm expecting that to be quite hard because it's intended to be capulous. Uh. So this may be a bit of a struggle. Basically, you hop in the rocket by capturing it, then you can take off and it flies to a different sub-area. This particular sub-area, you need to put Cappy onto that Scarecrow there in order to make your way across. Um, you don't actually have to do that. There is another way to make it across using a, like, skilled sort of Cappy jump, but we're going to do it the normal way, just to avoid cheating, basically. And also because rolling cap Cappy jumps are hard to do with this rule set we're playing with. Um. Yeah, thankfully these platforms are very forgiving in terms of their physics. You can <laughs> stand on the side without too much trouble. Uh, and do things like that. There we go. You'd think I would have died, but I didn't. Uh, there's a couple of Goombas here. You are Gonkaba. You can't capture these because you haven't got Cappy. Uh, and you don't need to anyway, there's not really a reason to capture anything here. Or it would make this easier than having to just crawl around on these platforms, I suppose. Uh, that block, I think, just has coins in it. So we don't really care about that. Uh, we do want these purple coins, though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a bit of a thing. There we go. 
Oh dear. Oh no! Okay, I got the purple coins. That's a good start. But yeah, you can see how this might be a difficult area to make, might make our way through while permanently crouched. Which is why we're going to be doing it the normal way. Insofar as that is possible. Uh. Woohoo! <laughs> oh wow, that was awesome. Uh, you can see there's a moon way up there. Uh, to get that, you just have to climb on the buildings. You don't actually need to capture anything, even though it looks like it's really high up. So, nothing to worry about there. Um. No, no! <laughs> You have to really be careful about bonking here, because the platforms turn quite quickly, and when you bonk, you are stunned for quite a long time. Uh. It's handy to bounce off this Goomba instead of get hurt by it, because bouncing off it cancels out the rolling, if you happen to be rolling. Uh. There we go, okay. Mm. I'm not too worried about health. I could use one of my... I could use that Peach Amiibo again and get some extra health, but I think I'm fine. Just continue with what I've got for the moment. Alright, so... Let's just... Oh, jeez! This is really, really scary. Um... So yeah, there are two moons to be had in here. There's one just at the end, and there's that really high up one we'll be getting shortly. Uh, yeah, you can bop a bunch of Goombas at once. It's pretty cool. Uh, here, yeah, there's just some invisible blocks to help you get up there. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba! Yeah! So yeah, this, this area is called the Strange Neighborhood, which is why it says above a strange neighborhood there. Um, I believe the other moon is just called Strange Neighborhood or something like that. Uh, there's a couple of purples there, we obviously want those, so we're going to have to wait around a bit to be able to grab them. Oops. <laughs> oh well, we got one moon, we're making good progress. Although we did have to restart the little area, so, you know. Go do some stuff again. No biggie, no biggie. Um, so yeah, you can make this jump. Rather than using that bridge, if you like do like a cappy roll jump, you can make your way all the way over there. Uh, and then from there, you can jump right to the end using another cappy roll jump. Um, since, you know, that jump is impossible for normal Mario, but very possible for Mario with Cappy. <laughs> because Cappy is a wonderful, powerful woman. And very skilled. And a hat. Never forget that she is a hat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's just yeah. I might I might actually grab that moon again just to get more health. Um what's in this block actually? Is there a heart? Yeah. That works too. Okay, so to get those purples there is a bit tricky with our current restrictions. Um, see, that platform is quite far away from us. Uh, when it turns like this, it becomes a bit closer, which makes it a bit easier, but it's still not super close. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, we can make that. Oh no! Bonking is lethal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this this is going to take a while, and this is probably going to be the last set of moons for this video. Tostarina is very big, so I probably can't cover all the A-side moons in a single video. Like compared with something like Fossil Falls, that doesn't have that much other stuff once you've done the Ace, once you've done the story. This one has a lot of content. Um, if you saw that number earlier, it was like 89 moons or something, I think. 69 moons. Nice. Plus the ones that you get from putting the rock. So, yeah, there's a whole lot of moons to be had here. Oops. Uh, once we get the last one here, I think we're probably good to continue in the next video. Because we're at 30 minutes, that's a good time for a video. Um, so, yeah, you just... It's just, it's a capulous challenge. 
which means our mobility is dramatically reduced, which is what's making this so very, very hard. <laughs> so we basically can't cancel any of our rolls. Oops. Yeah, if you roll too close to an edge, the little hop takes you off the edge and you have no way to recover. You just bonk and you're gone. So yeah, even though rolling is overpowered in this game, it's still a problem when you lose control of it. <laughs> yeah, I probably just kept going. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, so those two those two buildings in one go, rather than stopping on the first ledge. We're not really losing any coins here, because there's like 10 right there, which is the number you lose when you die. And obviously we'll always get those 10. Yeah, you can just do it like that. It's not hard. Uh, oop. Okie doke. So yeah, lots of backflips to get through here. Uh, whoop. Uh, there we go. Very doable. Very doable. Uh, and we've got these gooms over here. We'll grab that heart, just because I took a hit earlier. Since this is about falling mostly, taking extra hearts doesn't really help you that much, but, you know, it's still nice to have. Okay, so I think I need a long jump here to get over there fast enough. Okay, there. Yes. Alright, so to get those purples, uh, let me see. This is going to be really tricky. I think there's a bit of a bit of ledge to oh no <laughs> yeah I think I can land on those little stairs there when it's vertical and get in that way hmm. wondering if I should turn on assist mode just to stop wasting so much time redoing the first bit oh my goodness I think you wouldn't lose any progress because you reset the area when you activate assist mode and we're at the beginning of the area anyway. So yeah, Mario's mobility is still quite good without Cappy, it's just a lot harder to control things precisely. Your long jump goes, like your long jump is really great, but then you roll and you can roll off edges. And to do a long jump you have to be rolling and etc etc. There's just a lot of limitations on the way you can move that don't apply quite as much when you have Cappy with you. I don't know how I survived that, but that was really impressive. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this bit, I think what I want to do is just... Oh no! <sighs> oh gosh, maybe I'll leave the purple coins for now. I'm sure they're gettable. It's just taking a lot more time that way. Um, actually, it might be easiest. When you get to the end of the area where that other rocket is, obviously you need to be able to capture it to leave. So Cappy just basically flies over and says, hey, don't forget me when you get there. Um, so if I went right to the end of the area, I would have Cappy back and getting those purple coins would be much easier, I reckon. So let's try doing that. Yeah, I'm going to take a hit there. And that Gonkaba. Yeah, I used the damage from the Goomba in order to um, do the triple jump there. Because damage is one of the things that takes you out of a rolling state and lets you do normal jumps. For some reason. <laughs> I don't really understand why. Uh, anyway. So... I might try to jump across without throwing Cappy under the thing and see if it's doable. In our current state. I know you can do it with a rolling Cappy jump, but those are hard to do. At the best of times, I'm not very good at them. So... <laughs> Oh no, I started rolling. Okay, I might try to just jump over with Cappy and see if it's doable. Because it doesn't actually look that far. Mm. 
Okay, it's not doable with a regular long jump, bounce, bounce, dive combo, but it would be doable with a rolling cabbie jump. It's just that those are hard. <laughs> and I don't want to do it that way, I want to do it the normal way. Thankfully, yeah, the edges of those buildings are quite forgiving in terms of whether you can stand on them or not. So, you can roll around the corners without too much trouble. Uh, this part's harder, of course. Because the bubble's moving sideways now instead of... Huh, the game just sort of decided to let me triple jump a bunch of times there. I guess I timed things well enough for that to work. And yeah, when you land a ground pound, you can immediately do a ground pound jump instead of like crouching again, provided you do it straight away. Which is handy in some situations, I imagine. Okie doke. Um, yeah, I'm just going to continue on to the next bit, I reckon. That's going to be easier. Yeah, just go over here, you get the moon. Then when you go over towards the rocket, Cappy's like, hey, don't leave me here. Yeah! And that one's just called Strange Neighborhood. There we go. So that's 15 Tost Arena Moons and one from New Dom City. That's pretty good. See? Hey, don't leave without me! What a cutie. I love her so much. So yeah, now we have regular controls again. And we can do useful things like cap bounces and cap throws to cancel our momentum and that sort of thing. Also, because we already got the moon, it doesn't really matter if we fall down afterwards. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're done with this area now, uh, because we got both the moons, and we got all the purple coins. We're still short, I think, 13 purple coins. We should be able to get them, but we haven't. Boop. Uh, well, I reckon that's probably this video. Uh, the beginning of Tostarina's minor moons, basically. Uh, we got 15 moons, plus we got one in Nudong City, so I, th I think we made some good progress, and... I'm proud of us. Um, let's just bounce on this thing a little bit. Cool beans. Okay, uh, so next time we'll be grabbing a few more minor moons. Um, we might open the moon rock. I don't think we need to, though. I think there's more we can do. Let me see. 56 out, out of 69. Nice. Yeah, there should be more that we can do. Um, we can't... There's one that we have to do by going elsewhere, uh, which is this one over here, uh, with the Metro Kingdom thing. We visit them in Metro, we visit them in a few other kingdoms. Eventually they come back here and give us another moon, when they get back here. So that, that'll be in a while. Uh, there should be a hint out on one of these walls. It might only show up when you open the rock. Uh, and there's a few other things we only did need to do. Oh! Oh, hang on, I'm going to do this dog one just before we go. Uh, see this cute dog here? Yeah. You talk to the little dog, the dog will lead you into the desert. Not too far. About here, I think? I think? Yeah, the dog will dig in a certain spot once they've found where they want to dig. There we go. And that will reveal a hidden spot, which you can ground pound to get a moon. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Okay, I reckon that's enough for this video. Uh, I'm gonna catch these in, and next video we'll be looking around to see what else we can get. Um, I'm gonna try not to open the rock yet, just to keep things compartmentalized. It's just that there's so many moons in this area that you can't really do them all in one video. Boop. Anyway, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you get all the moons in your life that you need. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking nonsense. Um, 